pour it, that Hellcat, I floor it. They was hanging on me, hit the dealership and crushed them. Bank roll too big, got me hell. What is up guys, it's Upcom Sports here with a Miami Dolphins Madden 20 realistic rebuild. Make sure you drop a like, link to the upload schedule below, comment your favorite NFL team down below in the comments. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications on. And if you're new to the channel, before we get into it, make sure you check out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Madden 20 realistic franchise if you haven't already. It's a really cool series, go check it out, link below. And these are going to be the settings for this realistic rebuild. I won't have injuries on because it's already hard enough to do a realistic rebuild on Madden with the regression on this game and the cap. So no injuries. I could do one with injuries on maybe later, but not for this rebuild. So this team is looking bad. 68 overall. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. Gotta get you together, boy. As you guys can see, one of the worst teams in the NFL. They're probably going to have maybe an 0-16 record. I don't know. They might win a couple games. But Josh Rosen is going to be the starting quarterback. Kenyon Drake, a nice piece at running back. Kenny Stills, Devontae Parker, Albert Wilson. Nice receiving core here. They are going to start to regress in a couple seasons, which I hate about Madden. Like, really regress. But they also got some good tight ends. Dwayne Allen, uh, Gesicki. So the O-line is trash, except for um, one player, I guess. Minka Fitzpatrick, another good piece. Xavier Howard is going to be nice for us. Hopefully, we don't start to see him regress before we're good. But Minka, he's going to be nice for us as well. But linebacker core, not the best. Jerome Baker is pretty good. So for the first season of this rebuild, we were complete trash as expected. 3-13 and record and Rosen as the starter. 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Not the worst. It was okay. I guess average. 96 pass rating. Could have been better. Kenyon Drake, 700 yards, 2 touchdowns. Eh, it's just meh. And then Albert Wilson had a really nice season. 11 TDs, 1,000 yards rush, uh, receiving. The O-line is complete garbage, and Jerome Baker had a really nice season. Maybe he got his development trait up, but we'll check that out in the offseason. Christian Wilkins was also nice. Raekwon McMillan got a couple picks, four picks there. Xavier got a couple picks. We were the last offense in the NFL and close to last on defensive yards. But there you guys see the MVP and Coach of the Year. So Madden thinks the Cowboys are going to fix their contract situation and go all the way, winning the Super Bowl. So, I mean, it could happen. And we're going to start the rebuild off here with a couple trades. Rashad Jones is going to start to regress. We're going to trade him while he has some value for a third round pick. So we'll see what we can get. And another trade here, Dwayne Allen, we don't really need. I want to start Mike Gesicki. We're going to trade him for a younger tight end. We also clear a little bit of cap with this. So in free agency, we've got a couple holes. Actually, not a couple. A lot of holes to fill. But we're going to target the old line for this one and linebacker as well. So we'll get maybe three of these guys. Maybe none. I don't know. We were trash. But it is Miami. And we get a couple of them. And also our corner situation is very, very bad. So we're going to get Mike Hilton here. Maybe. I don't know, we gave him kind of a low ball offer, but it is still Miami, so it's a pretty big market, and we do get him. So this was an auto-generated draft because there's not really any good ones out there that are realistic, but Maurice Green, I took a right guard, 76 overall, only normal development at the number two pick. Maybe it was a bad pick, maybe it wasn't. We need an O-line, guys, but I thought he was the best available. So this is going to be the team going into year two. It's not that much better. We didn't have a great draft uh, like the one that I had in my Giants rebuild. If you guys didn't see that one, that was a crazy drafting process, but not a great start in the draft. I mean, we had to target O-line, guys. Uh, the defense still really bad. Xavier Howard, though, got superstar X-Factor, and Jerome Baker went up to star development as well. And we have a little bit of a problem in our receiving core. I mean, Albert Wilson, Devontae Parker, and Kenny Stills are all about the same age, all free agents. So we're going to trade him for a second round pick. 
And for the second season in a row, we're gonna go three and 13, last in the division, so not that much better. But Rosen is still a little bit low average. I don't know if he's our starting quarterback. Maybe it's just because the team is really bad. Kenyon Drake had a little bit better of a season. Uh, Devontae Parker led us in touchdowns with seven and also yards. But the O-line still really trash. I mean, I, I, there's a lot of holes to fill with this team. I don't know if we can get it done in six seasons, which is my cap. But, yeah, a lot of players are going to regress as well. So it, it might be an impossible challenge, but we're going to give it a go as we were the 26th uh, offense. So we got a little bit better, a little bit better on defense as well. So, I mean, we're getting better. Pat Mahomes, MVP and coach of the year. So the Chicago Bears are going to win the Super Bowl with Mitch Trubisky as they beat the Cleveland Bears. Okay. And in free agency, we're going to target a lot of positions. Well, not really that much, but corner and safety. We need defensive backs. Uh, I know Malcolm Jenkins is regressing, but we're only going to sign him to a one-year deal. Give Josh Rosen a chance to do something with this team. And he doesn't sign. And yet another draft here that's not too special. I mean, I thought I drafted a couple good guys. Well, Harmon Sparks, only in normal development, 76 overall safety. And Shamir Steele, only 76 right tackle, but he's no, only normal. We're not hitting on the hidden development, guys. So this is going to be the team going into year three. Uh, it's not looking too great. I'm, I'm afraid the receivers are going to start regressing soon, and they're going to regress badly. So that combined with our lack of drafting ability right now, it's not looking good at all. It's not, but Jerome Baker is going up to superstar. So I mean, thank the Lord we don't go three and thirteen this season. We still get last in the division, but we won four games this time. So I mean, I'll take it. It's an improvement. Rosen. Eh meh numbers but I, I can't really blame him when he doesn't really have that many weapons on the team uh, i don't know if we're gonna draft a quarterback we need so many other positions that rosen will do fine i guess for this video but o-line still pretty bad drone baker's a stud at this point but it's not really helping at all i mean our defense is way better than our offense but minka fitzpatrick got a couple of picks as well we were we regressed on offense for sure but defense is getting better slowly and slowly Mariota wins MVP and coach of the year. We don't really care. So in the Super Bowl, the Saints are going to take care of the Colts to win it all. But it's not the 2021 Super Bowl. Okay, Madden, I guess. And in this year's draft, we finally hit on a pick. Number two overall, hopefully this is a superstar X-Factor guy. Bryson Roth, 78 hidden development at number two. JT Palmer, not a great pick at wide receiver. 67 normal. It was okay, but we also got a center who has hidden development. So this is going to be the team for year four. I mean, it, it's not anything special. We got a lot of star development guys on the offense, but nothing special. No superstar development guys. Jerome Baker, though, superstar X Factor. He's been insane. Also, Xavier Howard on the defense. Our defense is way better. But we finally get two hidden development guys in the draft. So we're going in the right direction. I don't know what this team's obsession is with finishing 3-13 and 13 on the season, but we do it again. Rosen, 30, 100 yards. Yeah, that, that's a horrible season from a quarterback. But he did get sacked 58 times. Kenyon Drake, he's been okay. It just the, This team's full of just good players, nothing special. And the regression's going to start to hit soon. This might be game over. O-line. Raekwon McMillan had a really nice season for his overall. Christian Wilkins, four and a half sacks. We're not getting pressure on the quarterback either. Just a lot of holes with this team. I, I don't really know where to go if we're not hitting on our draft picks, but we were the last offense. Defense still getting better though. It's about average now. Russell Wilson gets MVP, coach of the year, Bill O'Brien. And somehow the Buffalo Bills make it to the Super Bowl. I, I guess they're way better than us, but the Cowboys are gonna take them down. And in the draft, we finally are hitting on our first picks. Grant Murphy, hidden development, 77 receiver, because I already know Kenny Stills is about to be trash in the next couple of seasons. Rest of the draft, nothing crazy. 
So this is going to be the season. And as you guys see, Grant Murphy is going to be our number one receiver. But at this point, Kenny Stills and Devontae Parker are pretty much gone old men to Madden. But we do have a superstar development center. Don't know how that's going to affect the team. Defense is getting still pretty crispy. Bryson Roth is a star development guy. And we win five games on the season. Still last in the division, but that's a huge accomplishment for this team. Josh Rosen. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about those stats. I mean, it's not great. It's it's good, I would say. Kenyon Drake is probably going to start to regress next season. Kenny Stills was still kind of effective. Eight touchdowns. O-line is getting better, I would say. The defense is our best aspect of this team. Pass rush was a little bit better. Bryson Roth stepping up in his second season. But we were... Okay, I'm not going to check that, I guess. Russell Wilson wins MVP, Coach of the Year. And the Arizona Cardinals are going to win the Super Bowl with Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And in free agency, we're going to target a running back and a wide receiver. Because we don't really have any more cap anymore. Because I paid Josh Rosen like $100 million for no reason. Because we really had to, but we'll see if we can get these guys. We get one. And I'm sad to see Kenny Stills be traded, but we have to do it. We need some linebackers. Kenny Stills, not that good. And in our final draft of this rebuild, we actually hit on another pick. 76 hidden development wide receiver. So we needed another receiver on this team. Also a free safety, 68 overall. This has just been a really bad draft for this rebuild. My bad. So this is going to be the team for the final season of this rebuild cuz I'm not going 10 seasons. So yeah, it was a, it was kind of an impossible mission, but I would say the defense definitely got better. It's definitely an average team, maybe a playoff team, I don't know. So I thought we had a chance to make the playoffs. We started the season at 4 and 2, but we just decided to go 4 and 12 after that and yeah we lost like what what would that be we, we were four and two we lost 10 games straight i don't know what happened to this team we were four and two i literally thought we were gonna make the playoffs not gonna happen so this is a failed rebuild but i'll show you guys the overall change in six seasons I, it was pretty much an impossible mission you guys try to rebuild the dolphins realistically it's probably not gonna happen in six seasons it might take 10 seasons but i'm not gonna do 10 seasons of this rebuild yeah we were just really bad but yearly awards we'll check out josh josh allen wins mvp so there you have it flashback to the overalls before we started this rebuild 68 overall 69 71 and now 78 overall team 81 81 so that's at least a decent team it's a competitive team we should have won more games than four with that overall but maybe Josh Rosen was just not our quarterback. Um, if I could redo this rebuild, I probably wouldn't keep Josh Rosen. But I mean, the defense, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments, was this a good rebuild? Was this a good team? Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment on the road to 500 subscribers.